हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मेरे इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस योर नेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी कॉन टॉक अबाउट ओ डी एम ई द डिस्चार्ज रेगुलेशन एंड द ओ आर बी पार्ट टू सो इन टूडे वीडियो विल सी हाउ एन ओ डी एम ई वर्क आफ्टर दैट विल सी वॉट इज डिस्चार्ज क्राइटेरिया ऑफ एन ओ डी एम ई आफ्टर दैट विल सी वॉट इज अ ओ आर बी ऑल रिकॉर्ड बुक पार्ट टू एंड वॉट थिंग्स आर रिकॉर्डेड इन अ ओ आर बी After that, we'll see what are the guidelines while filling the ORB and what things you should require. So please don't tell us. I guarantee, after watching this video, your concept regarding the ODME and the discharge criteria and ORB will be clear. Friend, Marine Engineering Hub is a platform which make video like this, for which will be beneficial for your examination purpose as well as for your ship related service. So please encourage us by subscribing. friends marine engineering hub started membership if you want to clear the exam very fast and swiftly you can join the membership and you enjoy the exclusive perks so friends let's start today video so the first question which is asked in examination is that how does an odme work so before understanding let's start the understand this diagram so as you can see this is a sample pump this is a pipeline of one which is going to overboard and what in going to stop tank and this is the odme which is controlling and giving sensor sensing to the two valve which is been controlled based on the sample drawn from the sampler so let's try to understand so suppose the ballast water is going or slop is going from here and now this is a flow meter which is measuring the flow after that if the slop is meeting the discharge criteria in that case this valve will be remain open and it will go overboard and this valve will be closed but when the water is going from here and if it is not meeting the discharge criteria then water will go from here to here but if it is meeting the discharge criteria then water will go from here to here now how this discharge criteria is been met that is decided based on the odme this odme decide so how it is working basically when the water is flowing from here a sample is drawn from here and after that it is passed to the analyzer this analyzer is analyzing whether all the requirement criteria is met or not and after that if it is met it is sending the signal to the odme through converter and this odme is finally sending a signal to this to valve which to open is to close so once more i will tell you what is happening the sample is been drawn after sample is drawn it is been analyzed and after it is analyzed and when it is found that it is meeting the odme discharge criteria then it will send a signal to the converter through converter it will go to the ultimately control unit of the odme and this odme will ultimately send signal to this two valve which to open and which to close so in normal case this valve will remain open and the swap will go directly over board but if it is not able to maintain the discharge criteria in that case this valve will close this valve will close and this will open and water will flow back to the slop tank and it will not go over board so this is how an odme work now let's understand the discharge criteria so as you can see here this is the brainstorm sweden company odme work odme manufacturer this is how it look like so basically what are the requirement so first thing is that whenever you are carrying out the odme discharge the ship should be outside of the special area it should be at least 50 nautical mile from the nearest land it should have a concentration such that it is 30 liter per nautical mile it means what it means that in one nautical mile you are discharging how much 30 liter of 
oil concentration after that oil discharge must be approved through an odme okay means whenever you are carrying out the discharge the ship should meet the condition of the outer of special area after that from the nearest land it should be 15 nautical mile after that the concentration should not be more than 30 liter per nautical mile after that whenever you are doing the discharge from the equipment the equipment I means suppose this like this equipment this equipment should be have a type approval from the imo after that whenever you are carrying any discharge in that case the total quantity should be not exceed 1 by 30 of the total quantity of the particular cargo it means the last cargo which you have carried that cargo 130 thousand amount that much only amount you can discharge overboard and all the entries should be made in the ORB part 2 so whenever in the examination they are asking you you need to tell all the six point okay now after that ORB part 2 this ORB part 2 is mentioned in a Regulation 36 of Marpole 7378. Basically, all the oil tanker of 150 GT and above must be provided with the ORB part 2. So, when you need to fill the ORB, so basically, when you are doing any loading of oil cargo, you need to fill the ORB. When you are doing any internal transfer of the oil cargo, you need to fill the ORB. Whenever you are doing any unloading of the oil cargo, you need to fill the ORB. Whenever you are doing any ballasting of the cargo tank, you need to fill the ORB. Whenever you are doing any killing of a cargo tank, you need to fill the ORB. When you are doing any discharge of water from the flop tank, so all these things, you understand that whenever in a, in a oil tanker, in an oil tanker, Whenever you are loading, discharging, and internal transfer, or cleaning, or, or taking collection stop tank, all these small, small things, whatever happening in an oil tanker, in the cargo area, need to be recorded in a chronological order, in an oil record book part 2. Okay, so now, we understand what is to be recorded, but what guideline you should mention? Basically, whenever you are filling the ORB, you should first make sure, that total quantity of oil and water which is used for washing and return to storage tank shall be recorded correctly in the ORB part 2. After that, whenever you have done any operation, suppose you have finished your loading, without delay, you should record it and you should sign it by the person in charge and each complete page should be signed by the master of the ship. After that, any failure means if any failure occur of the ODME, in that case, that's all that should be also recorded in the ORB part 2. Any type of exceptional discharge which is not expected, accidental discharge should also be recorded in the early record book. After that, whenever you have done a recording, suppose uh, means this oil record book we have used for a period of 1 1 2018 to 1 4 2018 so after you have used it for a period of four months then from the last entry date from the last entry date you have to keep this oil record book for at least period of period of three year it means for a period of three year you have to keep this ORB after the last entry so this thing you should keep in mind after that the ORB is is inspected by the administration PSC and flagship you, you should make sure it is always readily available so this ORB is very critical document it can be produced in the court for the judicial proceeding so all the entries should be in a chronological order it should be signed by with by a person in charge without any delay and followed by the sign of the master of the ship and after that all the things should be recorded in a proper way now what thing should be recorded i have told you but here is a more detailed version so loading and unloading of oil cargo internal transfer cleaning crude oil washing ballasting ballasting of sbt dirt discharge of dirty ballast discharge of clean ballast after that discharge of water and slop tank into the sea condition of odm and control system accidental discharge additional operation procedure and general remark loading of ballast water reallocation of ballast water within the ship 
balash water discharge tourism facility so all things should be recorded in a early record book so friend in this video you have learned that what thing you should take care by recording the ORB what ORB is provided and what are discharge comment criteria and how the ODM work so if you have gained something from this video then please do subscribe and please do share our video to your social media platform if you are watching till now I understand you want to clear the exam so I request all of you to take the membership and see I guarantee you will get benefit from that so friend please join the membership and enjoy the video thank you friend